Hey guys, it's John from the House of Hydro. Um, I wanted to answer a quick question about different temperatures the mist maker can run in. Um, I got an email from a sculptor in California. He's asking uh, what temperatures the mist maker can run at, how low, how high, and if the fog will climb out of a 12 by 12 by 12 inch box. Um, to answer that question, yeah, it will. Um, the, the mild boil of the water will create enough turbulence in the air to, to push the fog and, and lift it up out of a box that size. Um, it'll be much heavier at the bottom, uh, thinner at the top, but it'll loft over the top uh, when it runs. Um, so the water temperatures, they go from 22 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe, to 140 some degrees Fahrenheit, you'll see in the video. Um, what I found though, is that the the mist output at a low temperature is greatly diminished versus the the higher water temperatures um, i my personal opinion is that this is because the the denser water the the molecules molecules are tighter together and it's harder for the ultrasonic vibrations to uh, blow the the molecules of the water off the surface um, with the with the hotter water, uh, the molecules are much more expanded. The the water's uh, softer, lighter to say, less dense, and it's a lot easier to uh, to blow those those mist particles off the surface of the water. And I think that's why it's a more aggressive boil and uh, and a louder boil. Um, it just breaks through the surface easier um, and puts out probably two three times as much fog as the the colder temperatures uh, do. So anyway, enjoy the videos uh, and come check us out, houseofhydro.com. Alright, so now let's check out the cold water. We've got about 46, 47 degrees, which I'm going to call close enough to 41. It's low end. So you can see uh, it's greatly reduced fog output with colder water and I'm gonna say it's probably because of the uh, the density of the water when the water's colder the molecules are closer together and you have a much denser uh, liquid than you would with hot water so my guess is when we switch to hot water here we're gonna end up having a much heavier reaction all right, so we're at about 124, 126, somewhere in there, which is pretty close to the top end of our range. Let's see what happens. So it actually has a much louder and more aggressive uh, boil than with the cold water and it's producing probably twice as much fog, if not three times. So that's it, that's what happens. Hot and cold water with your mist maker. Check out all our deals, houseofhydro.com. We've got the lowest prices and without a doubt, best mist makers on the market. Come check us out.